Hi everyone, GB Akafanotech speaking. Um, today I'm gonna do something useful, I hope. Uh, yep, so one day I was on the Gym Orders community Steam group and uh, someone talked about walk cycles and sometimes the trouble he or she had to make a character walking decently. So maybe you've understood the aim of this video. Yep, this is a tutorial about walk cycles. So, something you gotta know about walk cycles is that in animation it's one of the most basic movements you gotta learn. And in the same time it's one of the most important. So, yep, it's complex and easy in the same time. But once you've understood it, well, it's so rich. You can learn so many, so many things uh, about a character just by his walk cycle. So, I'm gonna show you some little drawings to explain something to you. Um, basically, a walk cycle works with five important poses. Um, the contact with the ground, the low position, the passing, the eye position and the other contact. In 2D animation you first start to make your character having the contact with the ground. So this is the contact position. And so all you have to do after is to move it there and you just have to you just have to change the feet that are in front there. So these are the two contacts. Okay? Then you gotta draw you gotta draw the passing. So this is this leg on the ground and this one is like this. This is the passing, and then on this you add two very important positions. I'm gonna draw them in red and blue, this way you're gonna see. This is the lower position. It's a very important uh, position because it helps you to get the impression of weight of your character. So, like this. And then, in red, the higher position. That is simply like this. There. Okay, and if you want to make it uh, more um, soft, of course, you can add several other position, what we call in between. There, 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 there. It's gonna make a curve like this. So, yep, in uh, traditional animation this is very easy because you simply have to to take this position, copy paste it, excuse me, it was my phone, <laughs> uh, copy paste it there and simply change the position of the, the legs. In uh, 3D animation it's also easy because you proceed just like this. But in stop motion it's kind of different. We have the luxury to to go back on, on an image and modify it. We got to do everything in a row. So this is a kind of uh, boring but in the same time on Gmod it's very easy because your your puppet, your ragdoll has a weight so it's ah oh! <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> so yeah it it's easy to make it in a row when your puppet got so got a weight so now we're gonna we're gonna go on G mode and proceed so there we are on G mode in one of the simplest map ever uh, I spawned two ragdolls as you can see just to show you some differences. Let's get a little closer. So, there's a girl, Miss Pauling, and a man, the heavy. A manly man and a girly girl. 
So here's the point, it's all about posing. Uh, when girls walk, they usually cross their legs like this. There. See? Crossed. Uh, in a position, men do not cross their legs, but have a tendency to let their feet uh, going on the outside. You see, like that. It's kind of like a lion walking. Uh, now, something about the arms positions. Well, it's quite simple. The arm and the legs that are forward are opposed. For instance, there. Uh, the right leg is forward, so the right arm is backward. The, arm w the arms will cross at the passing position. So now I'm going to show you the screens I made of these walk cycles and showing the result with the normal speed. I hope this little tutorial was useful. Uh, now you have no excuse for not making your ragdolls walking in your Gmod vids. <laughs> so, yep, let me know what you think about this tutorial and if you liked it, I might do some other ones. See ya later, mites!